What? I fell through the floor? So sick. Oh, shit. Oh, and tail grab. There, wow. Stick open for stage. Oh, man. Technology these days sucks. Oh, hi. As you can see, I was uh, watching the Olympics on my Wonders TV. But anyway, I'm in the mood for an Olympic themed video game. Now, when it comes to Olympic games, usually they're hit or miss. You've got good ones like Track and Field on NES and Decathlete on Sega Saturn, but then there's Torino 2006. Okay, now how many of you remember Torino? Right. Okay, now how many of you remember 49 games? Exactly. 49 Games is behind a ton of sports games. Like, literally. That's all they make. That's it. And as it turns out, Torino was their first game ever. Now, I have a personal grudge with this game because I remember getting it back in 2007 from Game Crazy for $5 and hating it. Don't believe me? Well, then watch this video from 2009. Torino 2006, and as you can see, it's Olympics. I don't really watch the Olympics. We have Biathlon, I'm not sure I pronounced that, and Biathlon, I don't know. And apparently, I thought the game was too hard. It's pretty hard to pretty hard. Hard. The ski jumping is the hardest. Most of the games are hard. It's hard. All I can say is it's hard. Let's talk about that game. I love talking about that game. You suck. I'm sorry you have to see that. That, that, that I'm sorry, that, that's just terrible. <laughs> so there you have it. I thought it was terrible. But I think it's about time to revisit this terrible turd because I don't think I've played it since. Wow, look, even the game is too hard for the AI. They can't even follow the path. If the AI sucks at this game, then we're doomed. R really? N no. No, we're not going there. Alright, so at the menu, you've got the choice of how many events you want to play. And let's play all 15, because torture is fun. So after you select your country and difficulty, you're off to win some medals. But wait, you gotta sit through 30 seconds of loading first. Wow. Not even into the game yet, and the torture has already started. Welcome to the downhill competition in Sestriere Morgata. Let's see just what kind of shape he is in today. Notice how he did not say his specific name. In fact, there are no specified athletes at all in this game. You're always playing as an anonymous person against anonymous computer players. Doesn't this seem weird? I mean, it's an official Olympic game. I mean, come on. At least have this guy, or this guy, or this guy if he's an athlete. So about the skiing, it's pretty standard, you just go through the gates. You know, nothing special. The controls could be better, but overall they work okay. Although what I think this event mainly lacks is the excitement. It's so boring. You're just skiing down a path and the game doesn't throw any obstacles or any tricky jumps at you. Nope, just skiing down a path with the sound of no music and the announcer's barely talking. Oh, look out! Oh no, he missed that gate. Some problems there at the start. Well, possibly a lack of concentration. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, he's careening into the fence. And that's the end of his race. Wait, what? That's it? They, they just acknowledge that it crashed? They don't even check to see if I'm okay? They, they don't even call a freaking ambulance? Yep, in Torino 2006, if you crash, you'll just lay there and wait for the other skiers to run you over. They, they don't care. They, they don't even care. Okay, so it shows which countries won the medals, but their suits barely represent who they're supposed to be. I don't even know who these people are, but do I even care? No. No, not really. It doesn't seem like the announcers care either. They don't even announce who won. So next up is speed skating. Hopefully this event is a little more lively. It's an amazing atmosphere here today. What a fantastic audience. Yeah, it's great to see such fans. Hmm, that's funny because I only see half the stadium full. Torino 2006, the game where only half of the audience actually showed up. Hmm, I wonder why. But I guess I can't blame him because this has been a pretty boring game so far. 
Basically on the straightaways, you gotta tap the A and B button back and forth as fast as possible. Now I can live with that, but on the turns, you're completely screwed. See, when this gray bar comes out, you have to hold the A and B buttons until they get to the end. The blue line represents your timing, but I just can't get the hang of it. Very rarely have I gotten it perfectly. Also, you're given no on-screen instructions on what to do, so you're just left guessing. At least Alpine Skiing was playable, but this... Well, this just isn't playable at all. So I ended up getting 6th place, but you can try again. Today's competition is once again a complete sellout. The stadium is jam-packed. A world-class atmosphere. <laughs> really? Are you serious? Again, only half the stadium is full. Are these announcers blind? Because if they are, they can borrow some AccuView Oasis from the Grinch. He probably won't mind. She jumped the gun. She needs to concentrate now. You know what? I think you need to concentrate on the audience. So here's Bobsleigh, and it's pretty much the only reason why I bought the game, because I thought this one might be fun. It starts off with time button presses, and then goes into this first person mode. Oh no, what are they doing? It looks as if they didn't feel like running today, huh? And it looks as if you couldn't give two shits on how you sounded. Just listen to these guys, they're like the most boring commentators I've ever heard. The Bob touches the boards. It's not a major problem. No! How do they make the voice acting this bad? <laughs> no! No! So pretty much all you do here is steer the bob. So it's definitely one of the more easier events. But just look how fast the game is going. I think the game's purposely trying to make your eyes hurt just by looking at this. So it turns out I actually did good in this event. I got third place. And now we're back to skiing? Why? Oh, because this is slalom. Okay. Well, as it turns out, half of the events are just variations of their originals. So really, there's only six events when the game claims there's 15. They could have added in ice skating, hockey, or snowboarding, but no. They choose to have four different versions of alpine skiing and three different versions of speed skating. So anyway, this version of alpine skiing is pretty much the same thing as before, only the gates are closer together. Making this version even more boring than the first alpine skiing. Oh no. Hooray for glitches! What is she doing? Oh no, not again. Oh, tell me about it. This game is terrible. Now we got Luge, which is exactly the same as Bobsleigh, only this time it's one person instead of four. The next one to start is one of America's finest athletes. If you state that he's one of America's finest athletes, then why don't you say his name? It doesn't make any sense. So here's uh, one of Jamaica's finest athletes. He's uh, running, run really fast. I don't know what his name is, but he, he's pretty fast. Oh, why do I get to stare at his crotch? Why? <laughs> that may be the funniest looking animation I've ever seen in any game. Look at him, he doesn't even say anything! I think they didn't record any lines for the athletes because they knew they would screw it up. He's just like, yeah, I won. So overall, Luge is okay. Huh, that time isn't much. He won't be on the podium today, I'm afraid. Um, what are you talking about? I got third place! It's like the developers had the commentators record a bunch of lines and then didn't know where to place them. Welcome to the K90 Ski Jumping Competition on the Standard Hill at Pragelato. Now here's where things start to get really bad. It's ski jumping. You're supposed to keep this little circle in the center in order to make a good takeoff. And the main problem here is how precise they expect you to be. That looked almost completely perfect. But I guess I was just one pixel off, so I missed the jump. This is complete bullshit. How much closer could I have possibly gotten? And just for that little mess up, I get a 15 when everybody else gets way higher scores. Maybe I'm missing something here, but I don't know what it is. And no matter how many times I try, I can't even get a decent score. Ugh, okay, final event, the biathlon. And I believe this one to be the worst out of them all. Why? Because it's so confusing. 
See this circle here that's flashing a bunch of different colors? Well, I don't get it. And chances are, you don't understand it either. But from the footage, it looks like I'm doing a pretty good job. I mean, I'm going pretty fast, but then I start limping because of critical stamina. She's no longer totally fit. Oh no, you're right. I'm no longer fit. I just gained 200 pounds. So eventually, you'll limp your way to the shooting part. So you COD fanboys will definitely enjoy this one. The first one's a hit. Hit. Fault. Phenomenal, guys. Phenomenal. If there was an event in the Olympics with the most boring commentators, I think these guys would win first place. Because, s seriously, how much more boring could you possibly get? You know what? Congratulations, guys, because you've been promoted to commentate every Call of Duty match. Hit. Hit. Fault. No! Oh no, not again. Another thing that makes this event the worst is just how you just get to watch your skier awkwardly struggle up the hill. And that's another thing about this game. The animations just look so awkward and choppy. This event just makes me feel like I have no control over my athlete because she'll randomly speed up and then slow down and then she'll speed up and then she'll slow down and then she'll speed up and then she'll slow down! It feels like a chore! Come on! Make it up the freaking hill! You know you're playing a good quality game when you can go through walls. But seriously, the only good thing that I can say about this event is that the shooting part is okay. It's not great or anything, but at least it breaks up the repetitiveness of the skiing. If you count the variations, there are 9 events that involve skiing. Yes, 9. That's more than half the game. The only one I haven't covered yet is cross-country skiing. And guess what? It's just skiing. So if you liked biathlon but hated the shooting part, then this event's for you. That's all you do, just ski up a hill while you watch your athletes struggle. No, no! I know this is a real event and all, but if you have biathlon already, why would you need cross-country skiing too? It's almost the same thing. Hmm, if this guy has the power to go through walls, then why doesn't he have the power to stop struggling up a tiny hill? Obviously, if you can make a character go through walls, then it isn't worthy of giving it the title of an official Olympic game. Was this game even tested? No, no it wasn't. Why does nothing happen when I collide with another skier? If I just barely touch the wall, I'll collapse, but hitting another skier does nothing at all? Y you know what? I'm done. I I'm really done. Torino 2006 is a terrible game. It's repetitive as hell, there's way too many glitches, the commentators add absolutely nothing to the gameplay, and it's incredibly boring. Watching the real Olympics is way more exciting and entertaining than this game. And sadly enough, I think the same thing can be said about other Olympic games too. You see, Decathlete and Track and Field are fun and good games because they had personality and everything ran at a quicker pace. But Torino has no personality and everything's way more boring. Tense life, atmosphere, model on the real life venues, and r realistic commentary? Y you know what, they're actually right about that because most of the time TV commentary is really boring. Holy crap, this game did something right! Wow! What? Wait, 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 what's this? 352 blocks? But why would it take up that much memory? I don't get it. All it's keeping track of is your high scores and best times. Obviously, 49 games didn't know much about the Xbox before they made this crap. But no matter how many blocks it takes up on my Xbox's hard drive, Torino 2006 should be avoided at all costs. This is Vectrex for Life saying avoid this shitty game and go watch the Olympics before they're over. Thanks for watching.